Hey, what's up? It is your boy JD, and this is Foodie Finds. Now, earlier, I am really enjoying this series about keeping you all informed with places that you might have passed or just missed right here on the avenue. Today, we are at Something Nice, and it is definitely a place to check out. We've been hearing a lot about it. It come up pretty high on the Foodie Nation radar. Let's go inside, check the menu out, and taste the difference right here on Sup Nice. All right, hey, hey, Doan Ting, good afternoon. Thank you very much, I like that. Hi, good afternoon. Good. Welcome to something nice. How may I assist you today? Thank you very much. Opening and warm welcome, you know, one time. So guess what now? Everybody talking about something nice. So I come to find out if I could get something nice. <laughs> All right, so shrimp fee fries that don't catch my, my eyes already. That sounds very interesting. I'll have that. I will have the chicken sandwich and the nachos. Yeah, you ever had the shrimp fries before? Yes, I have. Is it good? It's actually one of our best sellers. So well, you would enjoy it. Well, look at that. We are on the right track. All right, guys, let's check out what all the fuss, the buzz is about right here on Something Nice. Yes, this looks love. Whoa, my bro. Well, you know you can't have a uh, avenue experience if you don't sit outside and have your bridges and them call you. I love the ambiance. You can sit either inside or you can, you know, have your meal outside. Speaking of meals, my friend, look at the shrimpy fries. We're gonna talk about it in a little bit. And of course, the nachos. Man, these nachos just look perfectly well done, you know. I can only imagine we're gonna, oh gosh, I can't wait, hold on. And then, of course, we have the chicken sandwich. It's a monster. Well, look at this. It is a monster of a chicken sandwich. All right, and I see they have some sort of a, it look like a special sauce, you know, with the, um, the pickles and yes, chicken breast and these fries. These wedges look like wedges, not even fries. These are wedges, so. What we're gonna do first production, of course. Let me just move this across here. The shrimp pea fries. If you love shrimp like myself, probably just gonna to want to dig into this first. Oh yes. Uh huh. You could tell the fries done soft already because they didn't have problems to go in. This bacchanal. This is very, very good. I don't know. Let me talk to him. Call the chef one time for me. Call him for me one time. Let me talk to him. My brother. How you listen. This you here? Yeah. You're bad, first of all. But I want to understand. Where's all the flavor going on in here? How this thing so tasty? What talk to me about going on here? Five blend Better cheese. Fries at the bottom of those. Five blended cheese. So five different cheeses. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have your grilled shrimp. Right. Grilled shrimp. Coated with that cheese and we put it on and then we put some spices on top of it and then our secret sexy sauce we call it. So this is the thing here? Yeah. I think this is making now everything as you say falls in line and compliments, eh? But look at that. Look at that guys. Look at that. Is this is this secret sauce? You want some? None fair. Mm -hmm. Now the shrimp is it's nice. You know sometimes you buy shrimp, right? I don't look around because sometimes you buy shrimp. And what is called that? But the shrimp soft, soft like stuff, like is that kind of. Like it's in the freezer too long. I know something wrong with that. And it's a nice texture. Shrimp, more than hundred percent. It tastes good, fries are good, and I love the cheese. Could only man, you say five cheese, you know, we won't answer the name cheese yet because we will not have it's mozzarella, but it's not so what kind of thing? So, let's go across here now to the nachos. I'm gonna come back to this for sure. Ooh, flavor like ma. Mm. Flavor so much, I have to take, I have to wash it down with the fresh orange and pineapple juice made right here something nice you can't get us no way you have to come here let me see what's going on 
It's poor for me now, water. You know, I smell it before. I smell it before I drink it, you know. Mm. Oh, bro. Oh, this is good. You can sell this at the side of the road. You make a million dollars, trust me. That is very good. Nachos here now, guys. Oh, look at that. I'm messy today. This is our vibes. This is what this is. So the nachos, we have I the um, sweet peppers, the cheese, and what's this? So it's wonton skins, essentially. Instead of chips, instead of tortilla chips. Oh, it's wonton skins. Yeah. Okay, then nice. Top it with our chili that we make in house. Um, and we top it with the same cheeses and some salsa. Hello. Yeah, no. I think. You know, I gotta be careful to say this, right? Boy, but he just said here, this is the best construction that I've ever tasted in the form of a natural plate. This is good. So like this could um, probably be for one person or two, this could share? Share yeah, but you know this is to me, it's to me alone, none for you. Brioche bun, and they look like they slightly grilled it on top. Uh huh, uh huh, and they did the, you know, they probably run it over the skirt. I'm no chef, I just eat. I leave all the chef business and chefs, but I could tell when things look good, because I know it. And this is the sauce again? Same sauce, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, when the sauce, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Sexy, this. <laughs> it looked like it. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, but cool. Uh, slow, there are cooked cabbage, I cooked for cabbage, slow, pickles, Ooh. and cheese. Purple salad, cold slow pickles, and two filet chicken breasts. Let's go. All right, this is where it's going to get interesting, guys, because this is not even a one hand, you know. You know some sandwiches, this is a one hand. It's not that. Production, give me a second, let me clear. I don't know if you want to pause, but don't pause. Stay right there. Are these wedges? Crisp or fries, actually. So, like wedges. Because I say this, this is the softest, fluffiest yeah, wedges I ever tasted yeah, in my life. Not as heavy. What call? Crispers. Crispers, fries. Crispers fries yeah. This is it, guys. It looks like a wedge, but it's light. It's light, crunchy on the outside, but there's a whole fluffy clouds inside, you know. Nice and soft. Look what I do with myself now, boy. All right, cool. You know, I have no shame today. Let's go. Now, the problem is trying to figure this one out. Alright, I don't want to nibble it like a... Oh, it's hot. Woo! Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, the heat that gives me a chance already. It's local. Crunchy. On the outside, soft on the inside. Now, it looks like they seasoned this since last month. Since the lockdown, they seasoned this thing. It tasted real good. And, um, let me just see. The bread complements the softness of this chicken already. Don't take my word for it. Come down here and find out what's going on. And, I'm going to provoke you all. This is how I eat a hamburger. See? Where's the correct way? This way? Or, and this anyway? Anyway, comfort, comfort level. You know they just bun me out in the comment section. They say, JD, you eat anything upside down. Nah, comfort level and to be able to access all the ingredients. Thank, thank you very much. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. This is all that matters. Here. Man, the atmosphere is a vibes on the avenue. And the food is a vibes and something nice. Tell them JD sent all you, all right? I love every single thing I had today. You be the judge, come along and check them out. My name is JD, this is Foodie Finds. And we're continuing to do the series on the avenue where we're popping up and letting all you know which places that Foodie Finds rate 1,000%, my friends. And you could go and check them out. And you be the judge, all right? See you all here next time.